Fortunately, a robot uprising hasn't usurped human control of planet Earth. Yet. But considering how far these machines have come along in recent decades, their eventual supremacy may be just a matter of time. If in some dark future we are all enslaved by machines, it could be because of the work done by curious humans hundreds or even thousands of years ago. Here is a list of the seven earliest robots and automatons. Number one, the mechanical monk. The 16th century mechanical monk may have been the result of King Philip II of Spain keeping up his end of a holy bargain. According to legend, Philip II's son and heir suffered a head injury and the king vowed to the heavens that he would deliver a miracle if the boy were spared. When the prince recovered, Philip II commissioned a clockmaker, an inventor named Juanelo Turiano, to build a lifelike recreation of beloved Franciscan friar Diego de Alcala. Completed sometime in the 1560s, Turiano's 15-inch tall automaton is powered by a wound spring and uses an assortment of iron cams and levers to move on three small wheels concealed beneath its monk's robe. Artificial feet step up and down to imitate walking, and the friar's eyes, lips and head all move in lifelike gestures. Working together, these elements give the impression of a monk deep in prayer. The robot can walk in a square pattern, mouthing devotionals, nodding its head and occasionally beating its chest with its right arm, and kissing a rosary and cross with its left. The 450-year-old device is still operational today, and is held at the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. Number 2. The Silver Swan The still-functional Silver Swan is an avian automaton. Originally constructed by showman James Cox and watchmaker John Joseph Merlin in 1773, using a trio of clockwork motors, the piece recreates the scene of a preening swan floating in a babbling brook. Levers and springs allow the bird to bend its neck and open its bill with startling realism and an assortment of camshafts and glass rods create the illusion of a moving body of water with swimming fish, one of which the swan appears to catch and eat. The machine also includes its own soundtrack provided by an internal music box. Before being purchased by Durham, England's Bowes Museum in 1872, the Silver Swan was exhibited in James Cox's Mechanical Museum in London and at the 1867 Paris International Exhibition. Novelist Mark Twain saw the swan during a tour of France, and later wrote that the automaton fowl had a living grace about his movement and a living intelligence in his eyes. Number 3. Vaucanson's Digesting Duck In the 1730s, French inventor Jacques de Vaucanson wowed audiences with a series of intricate and eerily lifelike automatons. He created a mechanical flute player that used a pair of artificial lungs to perform a repertoire of 12 songs, and later made a pipe and drum wielding robot capable of playing faster than any human. Vaucanson's masterpiece came in 1739 when he unveiled a digesting duck that could flap its wings, splash in a pool of water, and bizarrely eat grain from audience members' hands and defecate preloaded pellets onto a silver platter. The gilded copper automaton was powered by falling weights that turned a sophisticated collection of cams and levers to replicate movement. Flexible rubber tubing, some of the first of its kind, served as the robot fowl's entrails and gave the impression that it could actually swallow and digest its food. Strange though it may seem, the dung-depositing duck enchanted 18th century audiences, and it was exhibited in several royal courts in Europe. Vaucanson even won gushing praise from the likes of Voltaire, who compared him to Prometheus and wrote, Without the duck of Vaucanson, you will have nothing to remind you of the glory of France. Number 4. Da Vinci's Knight Leonardo da Vinci wrote extensively about automatons, and his personal notebooks are littered, with ideas for mechanical creations ranging from a hydraulic water clock to a robotic lion. Perhaps most extraordinary of all, is his plan for an artificial man in the form of an armored Germanic knight. According to da Vinci's sketches of the key components, the knight was to be powered by an external mechanical crank and use cables and pulleys to sit, stand, turn its head, cross its arms, and even lift up its metal visor. While no complete drawings of the automaton exist today, evidence suggests that da Vinci may have actually built a prototype in 1495 while working under the patronage of the Duke of Milan. In 2002, NASA roboticist Mark Rosheim 
used Da Vinci's scattered notes and sketches to see if he could create his own version of the 15th century automaton. The Rosheim Knight proved fully functional, suggesting that Da Vinci may very well have been a robotics pioneer. What are your thoughts on these early robots? Share your thoughts in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video and learned something new, make sure to subscribe for more. See you in the next one.